There's a lot of different soft plastic bait molds out on the market and they aren't the cheapest thing in the world either. So knowing which ones to buy can always be tough. I have a ton of molds myself, I've made a ton of baits, and I've caught a ton of fish on the baits that I've made myself. So in today's video, I'm trying to do the research for you and show you my five must-have soft plastic bait molds from Duo Molds. Now, the molds that I'm gonna be talking about aren't in any particular order, just one through five, but the first one I wanna talk to you guys about is the Duo Mold Slick Shiner Mold. The Duo Mold Slick Shiner Mold is an awesome swim bait, comes in at three and a half inches long, has great action in the water, and that tail actually moves a lot of water. I've rigged this thing up weightless in the past, cast it out and I'm reeling it back on a spinning rod and that thing actually thumped that spinning rod pretty darn good, which is uncommon for a small soft plastic swim bait. You can rig this on a finesse jig head. You can rig this as a spinnerbait trailer, chatterbait trailer. You can do a lot of different things with it. The other great thing about this mold is it is an essential series mold. So you get a lot of cavities at a great price. The mold is also a vertical pour. So making laminates is a breeze as well. Because when you're making these swim baits, you wanna make them as real looking as possible. And having that laminate ability makes the realism come through even more. This mold that I'm gonna mention now goes back to my love of fishing in Carolina rig. I learned to fish the Carolina rig when I first got into tournament fishing and I've caught a ton of fish on a Carolina rig. You can fish it shallow, you can fish it deep, and I learned on a baby brush hog, which is why the boss hog mold from Duet Molds has to be on my top five list. I've made these boss hogs with that duo mold for a long time and I caught a bunch of fish. I have those boss hogs that I can customize to exactly how I want them in that boss hog mold. The boss hog mold is a CNC mold, so it's gonna give you a nice, crisp, clean looking bait. It is a one cavity mold, so I really do recommend that you get multiple of these molds so that way you can make a lot of baits in a short period of time. This boss hog mold is one that you can make laminates with as well, and you can customize these different colors to exactly what you need. There's a four and a half inch model and then there's a 5.25 inch model. The one I use the most is the four and a half inch and this bait flat out gets bit. I've also put a product list down in the description of today's video along with my Duet Molds affiliate link. If after watching this video, you wanna go over to the Duet Molds website and buy any of these molds, make sure to go through my affiliate link so that way they know that I sent you and I can get credit for any sales. This third mold that I'm gonna to talk to you guys about is one that when I first saw it, would have never thought it would be on this list. But after I got this bait, I put it on a buzz bait, and man, this thing flat out blew my mind about how many fish I've caught with it as a buzz bait trailer. And that is the berry bug. The berry bug has to be on this list because I catch so many fish on it on a buzz bait trailer. I make up the buzz baits with my dual molds as well, and then I pour up these dual molds berry bugs with that berry bug mold, put it on a buzz bait, cast that thing out, bring it back to the boat, and catch not only a ton of fish, but I've caught some really good fish on that berry bug as well. The berry bug is also a single cavity mold. It's a CNC mold, so it's gonna make you great, crisp looking baits. It's also one that I would recommend ordering multiple molds, especially if you're planning to use it with a buzz bait because it, they do get torn up a little bit on the buzz bait. I've heard of guys pitching it, flipping it, Carolina rigging it, Texas rigging it, and even putting it on a chatterbait as a chatterbait trailer. But I do recommend getting multiple of the molds so that way you can bang out a lot of baits at one time. So we're about to get to two more molds that I think you need to have in your tackle making lineup. But before we get into that, let me know what kind of baits you would like to be able to make at home. And guys, if you decide to get anything as a result of watching this video, make sure to use the affiliate link that is down in the description. That link will take you over to the Duet Molds website and let them know that I sent you. So the next bait that I wanna to talk to you guys about is the Duet Molds Katana Craw. This mold makes awesome Ned Rig baits. It's a crawfish imitation bait, awesome realistic claws, awesome tentacles that come off the face of the bait as well. Pairs up perfectly with the Midwest finesse jig that you can make with a dual mold as well. Something else that I like to do with this bait that's a little bit unique. So recently I was out at the, the California Delta back in March and the fishing was incredibly tough. I was having a hard time getting bit at all and guys that were getting a bite here and there were having trouble connecting with those fish. They get a short bit, they go to set the hook, no fish was there at all. So I got the idea of flipping that Katana Craw on three yacht EWG style hook. And I just started pitching this thing around different toolies and finally got some bites. It was one of those things that I could not get bit on anything else, but I threw that tiny little craw bait and that three yacht hook went all the way to the bottom of that bait. So that way if those fish were to grab onto that bait, they had nothing 
butt hook in their mouth. So the Dual Molds Katana Craw was initially released as a multi-cavity essential series mold. So it is available in that. And it's also available as a single cavity mold in the CNC version as well. So personal preference comes into play between the CNC version and the essential series version. I have both depending on what I'm trying to accomplish. If I'm looking for absolute craft and color, then I'm gonna go with that CNC. If I'm looking to produce a bunch of baits at one time, I'm gonna go with that essential series version. I've kind of used them head to head and I really don't think it matters. I think it just boils down to personal preference for the person making the baits. I imagine here pretty soon, the flatworm craze is gonna hit its peak again. Seems like anytime the Bassmaster Elite Series, the MLF guys go up north and start fishing for those smallmouth, the flatworm becomes a staple bait that every guy has on their deck. So that's why the wave worm mold from Duo Molds is on this list. The mold itself is pretty unique because it comes in at a nine cavity mold. It's an essential series mold, so the price point is perfect. And it also has two tail cavities in the mold. So that, may, that means you can basically pour up a couple tails at a time in a different color than the body of that worm. So what you do is you pour up the tails, could be a chartreuse, could be an orange, could be a red, and then you put them back into the mold and then you pour the full body of the worm and then you have a nice accent color on the tail of your worm. Don't forget about my Dual Molds affiliate link that is down in the description of today's video. And if you wanna see some videos of me making these baits, make sure to check that description for those videos as well. But if you wanna see me make some of these berry bugs in a recent video that I have, click on the video that's on the screen right now and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.